name is Lauren with HowStuffMyCarWorks.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the oil in my vehicle which is a 2007 Honda Pilot. It's got about 120,000 miles on it and I use 520 oil which is recommended by the manufacturer. It's a synthetic blend. However, since it has high mileage now in the summertime, I plan on changing that to 530 just to protect the engine a little bit more. I've had this car since it was brand new in 2007, and I've been changing the oil every 5,000 miles. And when I hit about 5,000 miles, my oil indicator comes in at 15%, and I change it then just to keep my engine running well. Because I've been changing my oil when it hits 15% at 5,000 miles before it's really due, my engine runs perfectly. It doesn't leak, it doesn't have any weird sounds, and it runs like it's brand new. The first step to changing your oil is you want to put your car up on a ramp so you have clearance under the car. Make sure when you do this to put your emergency brake on so the car does not roll backwards. And then, once you do that, you get a clean pan and you place it under your car. When I loosen my oil drain plug, I use a size 17 socket and a ratchet. Make sure that when you're loosening the oil drain plug with the socket and a ratchet, that you have an open hand so you don't knock your knuckles on the bottom of your car. Once the oil drain plug is loosened, just go ahead and finish taking it out with your hand. <laughs> Once you're done changing your oil, you want to make sure that the drain plug is in good condition. You want to make sure that the threads aren't stripped, that the gasket is in good condition, and then also make sure that where the head, where the socket goes, isn't stripped either and that's in good condition. If any of those three things are damaged, you're going to want to replace the drain plug. You're going to make sure that you want to wipe any oil clean that got around. Finish tightening your drain plug with your socket and your ratchet. Because of the location of my oil filter in this car, I use a strap and a half inch socket with a half inch wrench to give me a little bit more room. Once your wrap and your filter wrench is tight around, go ahead and loosen off your oil filter. Once the oil stops dripping, go ahead and remove the filter with your hand. And then make sure that you kind of tilt the oil filter towards the oil pan just to prevent the oil from getting all over the place. Make sure that when you're choosing your oil filters that you choose a good quality oil filter. Coat the seal with oil and fill it up before putting it on. Once your oil filter is ready to go back on your car, make sure that you just put it in tightly and turn it another quarter to a half turn once you feel like it's tight enough. Make sure that you know that your oil filter is on tight because if it's not on tight and it loosens up, you can lose all your oil and destroy your engine. And if it's too tight, you can destroy the seal on the filter. Once you've changed your oil filter and your oil drain plug is tightened, it's time to put the oil in your engine. So now it's time to remove the oil filler cap. Once your oil cap is off, 
Use a funnel to add the new oil. Now it's time to add four quarts of oil and then you can put your oil cap back on. Once the cap's on, start your engine and make sure that there are no leaks. After you make sure that there are no leaks, then you can put the car down. Then you're going to want to let the car sit for a minute or two and then check the oil and then top it off. It's really important to dispose of your oil properly. So if you put it back in the can and you bring it to your local auto parts store, then they'll recycle it for you for free. It's really important to check your air filter every time that you change your oil. And the air filter in this car is located right here. Don't forget to check all of your other fluid levels. If any of the fluids are low, make sure that you fill them back up. When you're done changing your oil, you're going to have to reset your service light inside of your car, otherwise it's going to show that you still need an oil change. You can look in your owner's manual and just follow the directions on how to do that. Thank you for watching my video today on how to change the oil in my 2007 Honda Pilot. Make sure that you visit our online store in the tool section for any tools you may need to change your oil.